All right. Yeah, yeah. So um, the first episode of this, we uh, we did pretty good, I think. We died. Uh, well, we died a couple times actually. <laughs> But, um, you know, from what I could tell, I don't think this game kind of uses a save feature. Uh, every time you just take a wrong turn, you end up at the beginning, which gives you the option to explore all these different routes and paths, which I'm really enjoying. So hopefully today we can try a couple paths. I really wanted to try, just to hear all the commentary, I wanted to go back and try another paths. So I think we're going to do that. Let's begin the game here. Let's... The end is... Never, the end is never, the end is never, the end is loading, never. It's kind of like one of those jokes, like, not. Uh, you want to say that? Not. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Oh, do we have to, like... Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually okay Stanley with this. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was the employee intro to this is number beautiful. 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He uh -huh. sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed Did buttons he? on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him oh. what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Mm -hmm. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. Definitely, definitely so he had been soul made exactly job. for this job. And Stanley was happy. Sure you are, and then one cool. day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been That's at his right. desk for nearly never an hour forget. when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. All right. Let's get out of my desk and step out of my office. By the way, I have to apologize if you guys can hear um, my uh, breathing. It's a little distasteful for me. I know no, I know people don't like hearing that. The problem is I'm uh, actually quitting smoking, so uh, it, it's difficult <laughs> to breathe in general, let alone try to breathe quietly on recording for you guys. All right, let's go. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh, we Stanley know what decided it means. to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply I missed think. a memo. It's funny because they never actually like um, tell you one thing or another. Like they've speculated. Like he even said, like, was this all a dream? Was it dreaming? He was dreaming, and then they find him dead. So we know it's not a dream. Hmm. So if it's not a dream, it's got to be something. When Stanley came to a ah, set okay. of two open doors, so, he entered the door on his left. I wanted to. I wanted to because we've already gone this through this door. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley yeah, knew you, it buddy. perfectly well. Up yours. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just exactly. to admire it. Totally what I wanted to do. You are so good at narrating. You should be Morgan Freeman. Stanley went to ah, the uh, Yes, room. truly a room worth yeah, admiring. It had really voice. been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully okay, constructed I'm room. I'm just going to skip that part. But eager to get up. back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay, this is the part we didn't And so do. he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. I knew we were missing something. But look at that. A big red button. Who doesn't love big red buttons? This makes you think of, like, Doctor Who. Now, what do you think I'm going to react when I see this? A giant threatening button. I'm going to press the giant threatening button. I'm really actually... Oh, 
Oh, oh, it's loading. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, da, 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 da. from here, it's, um, left. Hmm. Okay, oh, no. I'll hear you. No, it's to the right, my mistake. <laughs> no, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Nice. Maybe this guy and me will get down, along. It's right, pretty interesting. Left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Oh yeah, this totally doesn't look like the way, by the way. <laughs> oh. No, 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 this isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 we just, we just have to get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, <laughs> from the top. Oh, oh, he just literally, like, no fancy bullshit. Just like, boom, right back. Normally he All does some fancy, like, what could rip it your mean? life apart. Stanley decided to go your to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So I guess the reason that he didn't freak my mind was because... That might actually, that might actually be like, because I've noticed when uh, the narrator does the little mind freaky thing where it's when all like, ah, oh, you wait, do that. Wait, what? No, wait, I, what? No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be. Oh, oh, did oh here's the mind change? freaking. <laughs> Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or a, uh, hold on, why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Well, I, I can't even get in this door. Okay, let's, uh, let's find the story. What do we have this way? Oh, this is really a really big office. Am I am I actually gonna like find something or I'll say it. <laughs> this is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you <laughs> there definitely was a story here before. Do we just do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's gotta be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? What? Oh. <laughs> what a dick. All of his co-workers oh. were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, we'll try this one more time, Mr. Narrator. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Oh my god. Yeah, good idea. I'm starting to hate you, but good idea. No, we didn't come from that direction. You're bad at this. We came from this door, I remember. It was clearly that... D Wait, did we come from that? Oh, we did. Shit, I'm an idiot. Okay. Sorry, Mr. Narrator, I won't doubt you anymore. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew uh, he'd miss something. What? The story. Here it comes. But... No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Yep. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. This is getting... <laughs> this is getting, like, mind-numbingly weird and... Oh, right. That's... Now this... Not... Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't oh, you're so. the narrator. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. 
Do you remember, Stanley? I mean... Would you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! <laughs> I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. Um, okay. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both oh. know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. That's not, Some that's not true. I defied your every word. And this was not one of those situations. Okay? Uh, do you know I'm how hard it was to defy everything you said? Is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. Okay, you do that. You restart. <laughs> All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. It's got a little Just TM. The line. How simple is that? I mean, you know. <sighs> Uh, uh, that's not where we go. What if I don't follow the line? I should probably... Okay, but... I won't, I won't go in the room where the doors are supposed to be. Yeah, because they're not there. Okay. I didn't know if, like, if I didn't follow it, it would just, like, snap back to the original story. There has to be a way to get out of these shenanigan parts like this. I think you literally just hit restart game in the uh, you see? menu. The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a what? destination is inevitably conjured into being via the How very manifestation of the nature Assassin's of life Creed? itself? Like... Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one's subjective experience <laughs> of that existence, right? This line's going, okay. this line's going crack. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Uh, <laughs> what the hell is that? I don't know how this lightens the mood at all. This is horrifyingly bad. At this warehouse, this looks like I'm gonna get something stuck in my butt. What? 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 No way. There's some TARDIS bullshit. Whoa. What the hell? Cut the music, go back, and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely <laughs> and remember it carefully. You it's won't want to miss anything. Okay, I'll remember the tree. Oh, is the music over? It was so catchy. Wait, Wait we're, we're back at the office? No. No, no, line. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? All right, wait a second. This game is actually confusing from a game developer standpoint because how is that even possible? I mean, this is so the way a 3D game level works is there is 
there's a level and you go through it, which is why the TARDIS thing kind of happening there caught me off guard. So if there's a level and you go through it, oh my god, how? But that, I remember going through here, there's a giant hallway, but then you just like, oh, hey, look, office hallway. And it's like seeing stuff like this, um, this kind of design, it's really, really awesome and something I would love to personally uh, figure out how they did. I'm sure it's very simple, but it's just so intriguing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 not again, Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. I think I'm pissing off the narrator. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? <laughs> Something exciting. Daring, well, I was trying mysterious. to, but you keep making it yours. This all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? And we will start wandering on this direction. In that direction. Uh, next time. Next time on the uh, the games. You know, the, the game of the thing with the stuff. When we do the things, next time on that. That uh, that game there with the ding do stings. That that time on the ding with the sting do dings. Thomas was alone was one of my. I, I pretty much enjoyed it. Can I just like not do anything yet? No, I guess not. Um, all of his I, co-workers would go. Uh, look at look at this line go. It's like snort. It's like it snorted a line before it became a line. Oh, there it goes.